Hello everyone. Today I am going to demonstrate how to we do SI way with HFSS region simulations in 3D layout. In the current scenario, I have two ICs at each end and one pair of uh, transmission line has been connected on our two. And now uh, we will be considering um, a 2.5D solver as well as a 3D solver. Right? So, uh, we need uh, uh, 3D HFSS regions over the IC, IC component areas over here and as well as here. And we would like to simulate the transmission line by a 2.5D solver. Okay. So, now in order to proceed, our first step would be basically defining ports at each end. Right? So, in order to uh, define ports for IC components, so let's define the side up first. So let's connect. The, let's uh, select the IC and model it. In the model, we would like to choose the die type. So I'm choosing flip chip over here, and orientation will be chip down, and shape cylinder, and the reference has to be auto. Okay. So once we define that, the reference plane will be created. Uh, our reference plane would be created and solder balls would be created for uh, signal as well as ground pins. After that, we'll assign ports. So, in order to assign ports on this end, on this ICM, we would be uh, again selecting that similar IC and then we would go to create ports on the component and then we'll select the signals to which we uh, have to provide the ports. And the type should be port and say OK. So once we do that, two ports have been created for these two signal with respect to the uh, with respect to this uh, sheet is created, and this sheet is uh, directly connected with the ground layers. Or you can see the ground pins. Similarly, on the other end, we have another IC which is U two A five. We would do this repeat the same procedure here. Type and shape can be chosen uh, either cylinder or spheroid. And this by default chooses some uh, gives some diameter and height, which can be changed. Again and create ports on the component. So we would be creating ports on on the other end as well for the same signal legs and say okay. So this will create uh, another two sets of ports. Now, ports have been assigned. So now we um, need to define the regions, right? So now we, we would like to simulate the IC regions where we have most of the discontinuities and the this region as well, the other IC as well using a 3D solver, right? So in order to do that, uh, let's go to layout and go to stack up. So in the stack up, if you go to the non-stack up layers, non-stack up layers are those which are basically not involved in the simulations. Here you see uh, uh, by default um, one layer has been created and the name of that layer is known as SIV teachings layer. Okay. So we will, we will be actually using this layer now. Okay. So let's close that. And now we need to, uh, so basically in order to define the HFSS regions, we have to define using that particular layer. Okay. So now we'll go and choose the SI wave regions layer. So now this layer is active and now anything which uh, now if we are drawing anything over here on the on this UI portion that will be drawn on this particular layer. Okay. So now we would be defining these two regions as HFSS regions using this particular layer known as SI wave region. Okay? So we would be selecting a primitive or a rectangular primitive from here. And then we'll zoom in and define the region. So now, uh, if you see on the left hand side on the properties, this is known as a SI wave region. Okay. Similarly, I'll take the primitive one more time and draw that. Okay. So now I have defined two HFSS regions over here, right? And uh, and the rest of the part would would automatically be solved by a SI wave solver. Now, once we define the regions, the next step is basically to add the solution setup. 
So let's add the HFS in the 3D uh, solution setup first, which is HFS solution setup, and we'll go to advanced. So uh, we can enter the uh, solution uh, frequency here. So I'm for now I'm leaving it to single, I'm leaving it to default 5 gigahertz. And then we, we have to define the sweep for which we want to simulate. Okay. And then say okay. Now the rest, of, as we know that the rest of the regions, which is actually this region, the transmission line region, would be solved by a 2.5 solver. So we need to add one more setup over here, right? So we'll go to analysis again, then we'll go to add SIV solution setup. Okay. Now say okay to this and leave the. So this is a SI simulation, and we leave it to be for uh, balanced. Now uh, we have to uh, make sure that the frequency speed is same for. Okay. So, yeah, this is this uh, same setup which was there in this uh, HFS setup as well. Now, in this, uh, if you see uh, 3D solver region here, there is something called HFS is user defined. So, what we are basically doing, we are linking this particular setup in the SI wave setup. Okay. And we will choose that particular setup which has been created, which is the setup 1 and the sweep, sweep 1 um, associated with the same setup. Okay. So now the meaning of this particular SIV setup is that it will be the transmission line region would be solved by a 2.5D solver by using SI wave setup, and we have linked the HFS setup with the SI wave setup over here. So, by defining this, we basically want to say that the regions which are user-defined regions are HFSS regions should be solved using this setup and rest of the regions would be, rest of the region would be solved by this setup, okay. So, uh, let's say okay here. Now, uh, there is another important thing that is HFSS extent. So, in the HFSS extent, we can leave the dielectric uh, type bonding box and leave the horizontal packing as it is. For the air box, we can make the um, bonding box as zero, the horizontal padding, and leave the vertical padding as it is. Now, we have two setups here, one is HFSS and one is the same wave, and as we know that HFSS setup is already linked with the wave setup. So now, when, you, when we are uh, simulating this particular model, we need to right click on the SI wave setup and say analyze. We uh, we don't have to select the HFS setup, otherwise it will uh, simulate the full structure with the 3D solver, right? So in SI wave setup, in SI wave sweep, the HFS setup is already linked, right? So we have to basically go with the SI wave setup and then say analyze and then it will uh, solve the IC component regions using 3D solver and the other regions using a 2.5D solver and then you can plot the results and the results would not be different for each regions so uh, it will be a cumulative, uh, cumulative result for uh, three uh, for um, these two regions as well as cascading the S parameter of this so the S parameters which you see from here would be basically uh, your end to end point S parameter Okay, so the S parameters would not be basically uh, different for each region, right? Um, so now uh, I would like to explain uh, what happens in the background and how you know the um, HFSS uh, performs this kind of hybrid simulations in the background. So let's go to the sweep one, and the one important thing is here. So let's say there is uh, so here uh, there is a tab for solved regions in parallel. So you can configure it. So uh, how many HFSS regions do you want to simulate in parallel? So here there are two regions. So you can say two, and you can, depending upon the complexity of each HFSS regions, you can define the resources individually. So what we need to do is we need to basically straightforward go to a side wave and say analyze, and then the solver will basically do whatever I've explained in the background, and then we can. In the end, we can go to the results and say create standard report and rectangular report, and you can plot the S parameters from here. So, uh, this is how we do the um, hybrid kind of simulations, and this actually saves a lot of time in uh, time as well as computational resources in comparison to when we solve the full uh, 3D structure. 
and uh, and accuracy is also um, up to a limit, up to the mark. Yeah, so this is how uh, we go ahead with SIV with HFS region simulations. Thank you. So we have already done the setup for SIV with um, HFSS regions here. Uh, along with the SI wave with HFSS regions design, I have also created another two designs. So in HFSS design, I have just given the HFSS setup. So in this case, the full model is going to be solved by HFSS solver. And uh, in uh, SI wave, I have created one SI wave uh, setup here with SI wave suite. The full model is going to get simulated by the SI wave solver. I've created these two so that I can compare the results and the runtime simulations with SIV with HFSS region simulations. So I have uh, done the simulations and uh, after the simulations, uh, we can uh, first go with SIV with HFSS results. So in the on the results tab, we have to right click and go to create standard report and we can go to rectangular plot. And in the rectangular plot, we have to choose the solution first. So here we see two suites here. One is HFSS setup and one is SIV setup suite. So we have to choose the SIV setup suite because HFSS is already linked with that. So we'll be able to plot the end to end S parameters. And in the domain, we have frequency domain, which is sweep, and we have another domain that is time domain. So we have to, right now we are plotting S parameters. So I'll choose domain as sweep. And then we have S parameters in the category. And the quantity we can either choose the self uh, terms, which will be basically your uh, uh, return loss, and in the mutual you can choose your insertion loss and cross term. So here, right now, I am choosing. Um, so here, you can choose any particular uh, port for return loss, and you can say new report, and you can plot it. So I have uh, already plotted the parameters of this, of all the four ports here. So uh, basically, to compare the results, I have. Uh, Copy the S parameters of any any one S parameters and compare with the SI wave HFSS for the same port. So you can copy it from here, copy data and paste it there. Okay. So um, similarly in SI wave then HFSS also I have tried um, um, uh, plotting the results and actually I have pasted the results for three in um, this particular in HFSS feed uh, HFSS setup only. So uh, the uh, gray one is basically your HFSS and then you see your uh, navy blue color one this is basically your SIV with HFSS regions and this one the brown the light brown color one is basically your SI wave. So uh, as you can see the SI wave um, um, the only SI wave uh, uh, solver setup uh, is basically not matching with the other two which is basically your SI wave and HFSS solver results. So here you can see that SI wave with HFSS region, which is the navy blue one, uh, correlates quite well with the HFSS setup till 20 gigahertz, and unlike the uh, SI wave solver setup, right? So we say, uh, so uh, this is the uh, difference between three of them. And as per the simulation runtime, so uh, simulation runtime is basically this is the uh, plot for the simulation runtime of three cases. So the SI wave, uh, so the only SI wave uh, design actually ran in three minutes, and HFSS only took 40 minutes, 48 minutes, and SI wave with HFSS regions took nine minutes and 35 seconds. So, uh, so this particular um, case uh, actually took uh, uh, quite lesser time in comparison to HFSS now setup. So yeah, uh, this is what is um, about SI wave with HFSS regions initials.